Let me see. Okay, so, and I open this up to everybody. Like, if you feel more comfortable just committing to two months, you can do so. I'm not going to be a stickler. I don't really care. Um, it's just that once that two months is going, you just have to let us know 14 days before so that, you know, um, we can cancel the billing because we pay for softwares and whatnot, and I pay account managers and et cetera. That costs me money. Um, that's around 700 bucks. So I just, if you want to cancel, you have to tell me 14 days before that third month begins because then once the third month begins, then it's month to month, okay? And it still has that 14-day cancellation policy as well. So I'm just setting that expectation too. Okay. Usually I make people do three months, but you can do two to start because you kind of have a unique situation, but it's not something that I haven't seen before. It's not like unique, but I'm just saying that like, you know, we have to move a whole new ad account over. That's all. <laughs> right. Okay. Um, yeah, I would like to start with the two. Okay. Um, and then I just got to alter the contract and everything. Uh, first one for the game. So, but you, you need payment for one or two right now? No, just for one. No, no, we're not taking both. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's actually illegal. You can't do that. Uh, <laughs> okay. And, uh, okay. Um, and then I'll send this over to you first, just so you can look over. It's the same stuff that's, you know, obviously talked about. Um, you know, the chat scripts. I already gave you that. Um, we do the graphic design for ad images. You know, everything you need to launch your Facebook, Instagram, you know, campaigns. Um, you know, the expectations for a refund policy, which there are none because of the nature of advertising. But if you do get shut down, we have the lag phase that I talked about. Okay. Um, the tracking complimentary onboarding, you also get one-to-one -one zoom calls with my team. Um, you know, cause they're going to be helping running the ads and whatnot. So whenever you have technical issues, um, questions, you want to go over campaigns, you want to see how things are doing. That's fine as well. Um, on demand video editing and video scripts for your campaign. That's basically, you know, the stuff that we do with and records videos. We can then use those videos and then use them for you or recreate ones that he's already sent for us. Hey, my name is Jason Wojo. Welcome to my channel. I run a multiple seven figure agency. So make sure you subscribe and I hope you guys enjoy the video. Okay. And then what we cannot guarantee or control, and I'll send this to you right now. So you have I'm sending it to the. Yeah. Okay. All right. I just sent that over to you right now. And then I'm going to go back to it. Okay. And then, you know, what we cannot guarantee or control advertising platform compliance. There are rare occurrences where ad accounts will get disabled or restricted. We cannot control Facebook's AI or their compliance team. We are not in any way affiliated with Facebook. If your ad account is shut down or disabled, we will request a review for you and utilize resources to get you back up and running. That's what I talk about a lot, Fitz. Um, but Facebook's decision is not influenced by us and no refunds will be given if your Facebook ad account is disabled or restricted. We just basically will then work to get you back up. Because I don't own Facebook. I have to set that very clear. Um, our guarantee to you, you know, as your marketing partner, we can guarantee we will work with you side by side to create assets from scratch, generate traffic, launch and manage ad campaigns and communicate with you via your client chat and Slack, which you'll get during onboarding. We will collaborate with you to get the most results for your business due to laws and regulations. We cannot guarantee any amount of sales or return on advertising spend as that is illegal to e-commerce and internet marketing laws. That is actually true. There are companies who give you guarantees. You're actually not allowed to. Um, and most of those people can, because they're not doing as much volume as we are. Just because I have more eyeballs on me, um, I that's that's against FTC compliance, so I'm not allowed to do that. <clears throat> and then what the client is required to provide me as a result, you know, logins, links to assets that services me rendered, raw videos, images for ad content, completed client questionnaire, completed onboarding call, timely communicating and collaborating with our team, you know, timely payments. You know, every thirty days, it's reoccurred billing. So it just goes on the card that you give us. Make sure it's not a card that is going to fail. Um, actually, I need to edit this part real quick. So wait a second, because this says for. Oh, it would be like June, what is today? 20. Yeah, I need to edit it so that it's for the two months because sometimes, yeah. Okay, give me one second. I'm going to send you another one that's updated. Because this.
it says three months down here. It's got to be two months. Just need to change that. Okay. Just looking through this again to make sure this is all fixed. Okay. And then obviously, like, um, you know, we talk about no shows on the bottom, like there's clients who don't show up for their onboarding call. And then they're like, Oh, like you guys are this and you guys didn't tell me I'm like, it's in your Google calendar. Like, it's really not that hard. Um, what else? And then if you are in the middle of your month to month and you want to cancel, then you just have to sign a cancel agreement and then your billing will stop. That's literally it. As long as it's the 14 days before. And then that's, that's basically it. Okay. You have no like legal obligation um, to keep going if it's like, if you, you know, I'm not going to be a stickler, but if you message us on the 15th day, I'm not going to be like, oh, you're one day off. Like, no, I'm not going to do that. But if it's like on the 25th day, I'm going to be like, okay, like I literally just paid all those things. Okay. So that's just not going to be cool. And also some of those days might fall on weekends where I'm not working. So it's like, I, I, I don't know what to, because I don't know the whole calendar year. Um, Okay. All right. So, no, I see the first one that you sent. Did you say you, you Yeah, I'm sending it. I'm literally sending it right now. It should be done. Okay. All right, cool. Now it was successfully sent. And you said Google Calendar. I'm going to have to get. Well, you sure already have a Google Calendar because you have a Gmail account. Everybody has a Google Calendar account that has a Gmail. Yeah, I'm sure I'm, I have it. I just have to get used to looking at it. Oh, okay. <laughs> we'll also, like, we'll send the link to you through email as well to join your Zoom. So, like, and then there's people who book their onboarding and they go to the calendar and literally pick their date and time. Then they're like, oh, I forgot about it. I'm like, so you don't care that much then. It's like, how do you not remember what time you picked? It's like, right. I don't understand. Um, if I was paying, I yeah. That I'm probably... Okay. Yeah, I'm like, if I'm paying $2,000 for something, like I better know what my appointment is. Like, what the hell? Exactly. <laughs> uh, it's just like really weird. But a lot of the nature of our business is like, you know, it's just, it's, it's fun. It's just that advertising is just sometimes not the, what's the wording? Um, it's just not the funnest thing sometimes, but I would say that we're, we're, we're very smooth at everything, but sometimes things happen. It, it's life There's things that I can't control. I got to control the controllable and there's things that I can't control. So. Yeah, I'm like... <laughs> Yeah. Well, that's, that's why Damon's able to refer people to me because I can get people like other accounts and I spend it on my own dime. So just to give you context, like say, for example, you know, one of the BMs gets shut down. I have to go pay my supplier, you know, 2,500 bucks to get a whole new business manager to host the clients. So I pay for that, but I have over 180 accounts. So I don't mind paying 2,500 bucks. So it's like, I pay 2,500 bucks, I can get the clients back up and running. But that lag phase is there though. So, yeah. right, right. Um, and then the other thing is, I don't know how many cards you have, like credit cards, not to scare you or anything, but if you do get disabled once and I have to move you to another ad account, you just have to use a different card number. That's all I need. So it doesn't, uh -huh. yeah, that's the only thing that's a little weird um, because technically the old card number is linked to that old band ad account. You can't use the same payment method twice. So, and usually it's very easy to get a new card. You just literally call your place and like none of your subscriptions stop or nothing. You just re request a new card in the mail and then they send it to you. So. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Now I clicked on the contract. It's still trying to come up. I'm not sure. Okay. But we're waiting on here, but we're waiting. <laughs> it's thinking. Shouldn't be giving you much of an issue. It could just be my little system here. I'm gonna try it again. View contact. It might be my little system. I don't know what it is with my internet lately. It's like slowing down. But 
Or maybe it's the browser. Does it need to be a particular browser? I'm like, no. I mean, this is a pretty streamlined site. It's just HoneyBook. And do you know, like, with the billing with this, I know Facebook is, they'll do your thing and then they'll bill you when it's done. Yeah. So it just depends on the billing thresholds that you meet. So Facebook bills a little bit differently now. Um, so they basically would do where like, you know, since you're going to be a new ad account, you're going to get billed in little increments to start. You have to verify that you're a legitimate user. So it's going to be like 15 bucks, 25 bucks. Then it goes to 50. Then it goes to 75. Then it goes to a hundred. Then it goes to 150, And then it all, all the way hikes up and the max is 900. Now don't get scared. They're not charging you more money. Okay. Right. They are just simply. So for example, right. If I'm put my ad budget at hundred dollars a day, right? Let's say I'm going to spend a hundred bucks a day on ads. In the beginning, Facebook will bill you, you know, on that one day, probably 25, 25, 25, 25. It's not that they're billing you more, they're billing you in increments to verify that your card is legit and that they can depend that you're a verifiable user. Now, as you verify the card, if I'm spending a hundred bucks a day, they will let you run ads for nine days without billing you, then charge you 900 on the ninth day. It's still the same amount. It's just that they're letting you get more time to build cash flow. That's when, you know, because they know that if you're running that much ad spend, they're going to, they, yeah, they know that, you know, if you're running an e-com store, right? I'm, um, you know, if you're spending 900 bucks a day, you should be making over $2,500 a day. So 25, 20, 2,500, 2,500, 2,500 for nine days, then paying the bill. Then on top of inventory costs, like they understand that. Almost finished here. Okay, you're fine. Take your time. You're in Florida. I'm so jealous. I am in Florida right now. I'm in Puerto Rico. Actually, I'm seeing one of my uh, one of my like really close friends, who's like probably my biggest mentor. Um, and then we we're actually seeing him today at four o'clock. And then I'm coming back on Monday, back to the grind. So yeah. <laughs> No, don't worry about it. <laughs> it's like, it's fine. I'm not really picky. I don't really care. It's like, once you start a business, you kind of just have to like realize that you're like, you're committing your life to it. Like, yeah, like a lot of people who talk about work-life balance, um, I've tried that and it works, but then you get like antsy because I have ADHD. So it's like, yeah, you get this like antsiness to like do that next thing. And then that, yeah. yeah, like that could lead to shiny object syndrome or it could lead to like, you know, you having more growth. Um, Sometimes it's, it's a 50 50 split, you know, where I'll just like do things that are just like really not necessary. But then I'm like, you know what? Like I just needed to fill my fill. Um, sure, sure. So. And that's how I am. I'm like, well, let's do it. We're both thinking about it right now. Let's just do it right now. Yeah, no, that's good. I, I, I'll be honest. I appreciate that because I have people who literally will text me. They're like, yeah, I'm ready to go. And then I get on the phone and they're like, well, I got to talk to my wife or like, um, oh, I have to wait for this car to come in the mail. I'm like, how do you not have a car? How do you live? Like, how do you pay for gas? How do you pay for groceries? How do you do anything? Like, oh, I don't understand. It just doesn't make any sense. But, um, Okay. And then just the last thing that we have to do. And then after we're done with the call here, I'll send you all your onboarding links and stuff that you'll have to fill out. Um, okay. And then, you know, I'll get you set up in your Slack chat today. That'll be later on during the day because it takes a couple hours to populate the Slack chat. Um, okay. And then I'll send you a link to your phone. And then now I just need the card on file for the 2000. Okay. You know, do PayPal, do you? Um, not anymore, no. <laughs> Yeah, okay. because we can't do it through the okay. reoccurring billing. We're not allowed to because, like, oh, really? PayPal doesn't have that. Really? Now, I just sent an invoice to somebody with the recurring. Through PayPal? PayPal? I, I, don't, I don't have that feature. 
I mean, I just started using PayPal a couple months ago, but we had another, like I was running an e-com store and we had a PayPal and then that got shut down for some weird odd reason. Cause PayPal has like a lot of, a lot of compliance with e-com stores and hooking up to Shopify stores. And then that like really kind of set me back, but because I don't control all the billing, cause I have a department that does it. Um, they just want to have it all inside our Stripe because that's how we file our taxes. Like everything gets logged through there. That makes sense. But yeah, me, and maybe mine was an, it's not an e-com, obviously. It was just well, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just like, it just depends. Like F PayPal will just decide one day and be like, ah, we'll put you in your review and then we'll put your funds on hold. And then like, it's like, oh shit. So. Oh, okay. Well, I'm ready with the car. Are you ready? Okay. Yeah, I'm ready. Right. Okay, that's all done. All right, cool. All right, and then I'm going to text you over all the links right now. Just... And Slack chat, what is that? Is that like for me to chat with you and the team? Yes, yep, that is correct. I'll send you over the onboarding links right now. Okay, here is your onboarding call with Chris. Here... Oh no, I'm, I'm I'm texting it over to you right now. And then, <laughs> and then here is your onboarding form, which is just going to ask you some questions, just so we have client information. That's all. Um, and then let me say, sometimes the Slack chat populates really really quickly. Sometimes it doesn't. But let's see if it did. Okay, no, it's going to take a little bit. Okay. Hey, my name is Jason Wojo. Welcome to my channel. I run a multiple seven figure agency. For the past four years, I've helped generate me and my clients over $75 million and have been featured in Entrepreneur.